do. And I'll be honest with you, all right? I'm just going to be really honest. Right? Sometimes we'll, we'll just play a song because it's an awesome song. This part. This part. says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone would open their door, Oh, it's his right council here. In the zone and everything's been happening. It just seems like the things I put my hands in. Let me tell you something. You see this hand and you see this head? It don't belong to the U.S. government. You ever been to one of those churches where people look like they were weaned on a pickle? And I was throwing the F word around. I'm up here with multiple voices in my head. I don't even care if we do church. Go have a donut. I can tell because in worship, some people were still standing. When it first, when the oil first started coming out of it, the oil itself, you could get it on your hands, and the oil uh, would have fragrant, different fragrances in it. Hello, Brian here. Welcome to my channel, Bezel T3. Bezel is the nickname people have given me at work. T3 is short for triple three, which is my little way of describing the Christian understanding of the Trinity. You know, one number, that is three, representing one divine being, and yet three distinct numbers, three, 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 representing three distinct persons within the one true and living God. What happens here at my channel is this. I primarily examine what is happening in some of the more wacky corridors of 21st century evangelicalism. Now, evangelical is a tricky word these days because it cuts a swath wide enough to include everything from signs and wonders junkies like Patricia King and Sid Roth to word of faith money grubbers like Ken Copeland and Jesse Duplantis to megachurch rock stars like Joel Osteen and Brian Houston to very solid guys like R.C. Sproul, Tim Keller, and Steve Lawson. From time to time, you will find me comparing and contrasting pseudo-Christian organizations and non-Christian worldviews with those of historic, confessional, Trinitarian Christianity. I believe that the books of the Old and New Testaments are God's very words, inscripturated by men over a 1,500-year period as they were moved along by God the Holy Spirit. I believe that it is the ultimate authority in all things pertaining to the faith and one's behavior stemming from that faith, once for all, delivered to the saints. I believe that the Bible, with all its knots and blotches, with all its gritty stories, its flawed individuals and miracles, is in fact true. Jesus, the Christ, the second person of the Trinity, who is himself the central figure of both the Old and New Testaments, he prayed this to his Father. He said, sanctify them, talking about us, his disciples, if you are one, through your truth. Your word is truth. Now, I don't monetize at all. I leave up all comments, unless, of course, they're blatantly profane. And I want you to know, many people disagree with me. I've been called Beelzebub more times than I can count, but oddly never Bezalel, who was filled with the Spirit of God. But, of course, I digress. My desire is that everyone who visits this channel will be encouraged or challenged in some way regarding what it is they believe about God, the Bible, mankind, human suffering, and life after death. So, I invite you to come and check out the many videos I've already posted, and as I try to put out a video every weekend, I encourage you to subscribe. So look around, put something or someone into my channel search, and see what comes up. <laughs> the air was charged with power. Oh, and it flashed across me. The line of the tribe of Judah has roared. She, huh, who, she blew that tumor out on the ground. Oh. Oh, oh.